Well, what I really like about New York is just the hustler mentality that everybody has. Everybody's go, 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 go. Just looking down on the city, you can look on Times Square, you can be on Times Square and get inspired. Some of youth employment definitely helped me a lot. I learned a lot by being an intern here. Last summer, I was a guest experience ambassador for the Summit One Vanderbilt. We get thousands of people here a day, and it is definitely an experience to, to be able to work with so many different people and, you know, learn a lot. For this job, I was definitely an introverted person. You know, now I'm more comfortable in any type of situation. It's either you sink or swim, and I swam, and being hired here after my internship definitely affected my life in a positive way. And I definitely encourage anybody that's just starting out on any type of work. The Summer Youth Employment Program is a fantastic program and I'm proof of it. As you can see, I'm standing on the top of the world right now. So, yeah. Having mental health problems while being homeless is really difficult. Uh, stress, depression, the street is not a place for New Yorkers to live. They need a home. So in 2020, I ended up in the psychiatry uh, unit because of constant stress and depression. So the housing for health program helps patients to have a stable uh, housing. They reach out to me and so this home has given me the mental stability in a way it provided me time and accessibility to find a job, maintain it, also taking five classes to be able to do all my homework and I'm going to school now to accomplish my dream and goal that is to create comic books. So don't give up even though times get difficult there is always home after the storm. Staten Island is very unique. We're a very proud community. People here take a lot of pride in the look, the feel of the community. So today I'm here at Flagship Brewery, which is a prime example of small business investment in the community. You know, on Staten Island here, probably 90% of the businesses have under 10 employees. You know, they create all the jobs and they give back. You know, after the pandemic, we're seeing businesses that are struggling to pay their rent. We started to see homelessness, crime, uh, a little bit more than we did in the past. I feel like the state of the city right now, we still have a long road ahead, but I do feel that there's, you know, a light on the horizon. I mean, I have to give credit to the mayor because we're getting attention, right? The relationship between business and government has improved quite a bit under this administration. We, are, we have a seat at the table and making the city the greatest city in the world, which it is. The NYPD for me, I can remember since I was little, uh, I saw the way my mom like helping people and I felt like that's something that was ingrained in me to help people too. For me, when everyone running away from them and we ran towards to help them, you know, that's the best part of my job, you know. On Thanksgiving Day, um, we heard a loud commotion of somebody screaming for help. I called my partner out over and now I'm like, oh, there's somebody in the traps. So me, my partner, and another good New Yorker, we did not think, like, we just jumped onto the truck and saved the man from the truck. You know, we went to the danger when he's there. Um, you know, it wasn't an easy situation, but, you know, we thank God that we made it out alive, and then we did what, what, what we did best. I love everything in New York City. I've been living in New York City 15 years now. I've been here for almost 20 years of my life. Um, all I know is New York City. Whenever I need help, help New, New Yorkers always step up for, to help each other. My first pregnancy, I actually went through a lot by myself. They induced me. I had nobody, not even to show me how to breathe. A doula provides physical and emotional support to a mother during pregnancy, during birth, and in postpartum. This pregnancy, it was completely different. I really had a lot of help. I'm gonna be with you in this journey. I'm gonna teach you about breastfeeding, safe sleep, don't shake the baby. The day of the birth, I'm gonna be with you until the end. I'm gonna teach you uh, different techniques. A pregnancy process is a process that you need a lot of support, either with family members, baby daddies, their fathers, or a mother, or grandmothers. And if you don't have that support, go forward with a doula. Maternal health care in New York City has been improved since uh, I had my children 25, 30 years ago. We still have the gap that we have to 
work with. But now with this citywide doula initiative, this is not an initiative anymore. It's a reality. The baby's healthy, baby came out good, and I'm healthy as well. New York is unique because of its diversity. You have freedom, you can be yourself, you can express your mind. New York City is in me, and I'm in New York City, you know, so I love it about New York City. To see everybody move together, rowing in the same direction, seeing the city successful, seeing the business community come back. People move here to New York looking for hope. Hope for a better life for their families. Just believe in yourself. Follow your dreams and stay positive.